So ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the mighty Tony and Tony and Hazel and David and 4,000 people over there. Maybe five, I can't count them all. Thank you. Uh, Tony, I was just wondering. Oh yeah, hello Gemma. And Aurora. Uh, Tony, I was wondering. We had a great conversation about the recycling waste to create energy. Could you like explain it a bit more like you explained it to me for them? Could that be really good for Jaywick? The way you said like a blueprint for Jaywick. Well, Could you yeah, expand on that for us? Yeah, uh, it's, it's been a vision for me for a long time. But I mean, we've recently had uh, a, a huge um, accident with somebody trying to dispose of a mattress uh, in the garden because you know, they're struggling to get rid of it. There's a cost involved, etc., etc. et cetera. Et cetera. Um, th that should be made easy for people. And one method would be to have community incinerators, not just here in Jaywick, but across the country. Uh, I'm speaking to somebody at the moment that has uh, got quite a bit of knowledge about this and many, many other recycling um, futuristic plans. He's already got a business just on the side of the Dartford Crossing. There's an opportunity to go and visit him, have a site visit and a talk from him. He's even extracting the oil out of tyres so successfully that one of the oil companies wants to buy the project from him because he's, they see him as a competition. That is it's amazing. Such, it is amazing. But, you know, to start off here in Jaywick, I would personally love to see incineration of fly-tipped waste so that it eradicates the fly. You know, somebody that's got to get rid of a carpet can run it around to the incinerator on their flipping wheelbarrow. Do you see what I mean? I love Easy that. peasy, and it creates energy. This, this, so we can shift. profit from waste. <coughs> yeah, where this much is money. You yes, know, it's a so great. Thing. And Jaywick could be a blueprint for this. Blueprint for it. You know, so once we do it in Jaywick and it works, then everyone can copy us. Jaywick could be a first. So I normally love that. Thank you. So that is just a bit, you, there's a lot more to it, that's all you're getting for now. <laughs> and also there was one more thing you said about the recycling ways to create energy would be great. Also the live off the land, bring the future to Jaywick, was that? Well, a, a polytunnel type scheme, you know, a community farm type of thing. Yes. Where um, produced electricity from incineration uh, uh, would help operate all year round polytunnels. And that could, be, that could happen in Jaywick? Well, it can, it can happen anywhere. That's the thing. Yes. We have a blueprint for it. We yes. just had the rains in Spain. Yep. Uh, I didn't realise that wrong. Uh, which allegedly destroyed a lot of the veg vegetables that are meant to come to this country. So we can't... We're going to have a shortage. We are. And we've got We to need to start living off our own land. Yes, exactly. Like we did in the war, basically. Tony, you're amazing. This man is amazing. So is everyone at Happy Club. Thank you to Tony. Tony, David, Hazel, Gemma, Aurora, and the 4,000 people over there. Hey, thank you. Only at Happy Club, everybody. Only at Happy Club. Shine on.